Hi, this is Scott with Spectre Gear, and for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install your Raptor 2-point sling on your Ruger 1022 carbine. Uh, this sling is designed specifically for carbines with either wood or synthetic stocks and barrel bands present on the stock. And that barrel band is going to be very important because that's going to be one of your mounting points for the sling. So whether you have the wood or synthetic stock, the installation is still the same. Um, but what you will receive out of the package is one Raptor two-point sling with the appropriate front and rear adapters for the Ruger 1022. Again, that's the Ruger 1022 with wood or synthetic stock and barrel band. At the rear, your rear adapter is going to consist of a wraparound stirrup type rear adapter that's completely ambidextrous. Now out of the package, this comes set up for right-handed configuration. So looking at this from the top, the sling is attached to the loop on the left side of the adapter. If you wanted to set this up for a left-handed application, you just simply undo this tri-glide here and move this tab over to the loop on the other side and you're ready to go. At the front, the um, tab that's going to interface with the barrel band, and that's why that barrel band is so important. If you don't have it, this isn't going to be able to attach. Uh, this can be also set up for the right or left hand side, and I will show you that when we go ahead and uh, get ready to actually put that on. I'll show you how to set that up for a left handed configuration. So, in terms of actually installing this, the first thing you want to do with any sling install is verify that your uh, carbine, rifle, shotgun, whatever you're working with is unloaded. So in this case, the ammunition feeding device, the magazine has been removed from the carbine. And at this point, we're going to visually and physically verify that we have no ammunition present in the weapon. Then we can safely run the uh, bolt forward and we're ready to proceed. So the first thing that we're going to do is separate this into two pieces. We're going to hit the emergency release buckle and move the front portion of the sling off. And we're going to focus on attaching at the rear. And we're going to open up that stirrup rear adapter like so. So the Velcro is facing up and you're creating a larger loop. And at that, this time we're going to, uh, whoop, there we go. That's what I was trying to prevent. Uh, we're going to set the toe of the stock into the stirrup type rear adapter. I'm going to make sure that we uh, kind of have everything distributed evenly side to side. And then I make sure that the cross strap is pretty much evenly distributed top to bottom. At that point, you just simply pull the webbing through the loop, bring it snug, wrap it around, and secure to the corresponding Velcro on the other side. At that point, you can kind of shift it around a little bit. You might have to give it a couple more tugs and, and get it nice and snug, but that's really, uh, that's all there is to it really for attaching at the rear. So we'll go ahead and move this forward and we'll start working on the front portion of the sling. In this case, we're gonna turn this around like so, and we're gonna be going after this barrel band. You're going to need a flat tip screwdriver, and all you simply do is just loosen up the nut, or rather the uh, the bolt on the uh, barrel band here, and slide it off. Now, there's a couple of different types of barrel bands out there. This is one of the older aluminum ones that is threaded. The newer synthetic ones have a little uh, nut that's recessed into the barrel band. And either event, you need to take this bolt or screw, whichever you want to call it, you want to take it completely out because we need to work with this gap here. We're going to take the the front attachment portion here, this little adapter, and we're just going to slide the inner portion of the webbing through that opening in the barrel band, and that's it for a right-handed configuration. Well, actually, let me turn that around. That was the side with the threads on it. So slide it in, and that is our right-handed configuration. For left hand, you just simply run it to the other side, and then that would be the left-handed configuration. But in this case, we're gonna go for right hand, so once we've got that in there, we're going to go ahead and put the screw or bolt back in. Give it a couple of turns, not too much, and reinstall it. Now, as you go to actually put it onto the forward portion of the stock, you want to make sure that this is distributed as well as you want, top to bottom. Um, we don't want to we don't want to put it on and have it too far down. I want to make sure this is even with the side of the, the weapon. It's not going to interfere with anything. So we, there we are. And as we slide it back, it's going to be a little bit snug. So you want to pull the sling along with the barrel band as it goes to the rear. Otherwise, the barrel band will slide back and you'll have a little bit of excess webbing at the front. 
But with that, we're just going to go ahead and snug it back up. Now, one thing you'll note is your gap right here is going to be a little greater than it was before because this webbing is now emerging through that gap. That's okay. That's going to be fine. Um, when we go to snug down, there is a gap at the bottom here. That gap is going to be a little greater than it was before, but you want to be careful when you're snugging down. You want to take that screw, bring it down to where you can start feeling like, okay, we're all the way home. And then once you reach that point, we're just going to give it just another little turn and we are good to go. So with that, that is it. It is now fully installed. I'm going to go ahead and snap the ERB closed. Bring this back forward. And that is your Raptor two-point sling fully installed on your Ruger 1022 carbine. Now, if you're interested in more information about the, uh, the sling itself, there's a corresponding video on the page where you found this, where you can get a better overview of the actual sling. Uh, again, this is more um, specific towards installing it on the, uh, the carbine itself. If you happen to have another kind of configuration, for instance, one, uh, maybe a 1022 that has, for instance, one of the Magpul X22 stocks, we make additional models for that. And we're going to have some, uh, some other models coming out here fairly soon. Uh, so as new different stock options are introduced for the 1022, we'll bring, be bringing out additional slings for it. So with that, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. And if you have any technical questions regarding this video, feel free to contact us at SpectreGear.com. Thank you very much. Take it easy.